Okay. This should be interesting. This should be interesting indeed. Um, okay, we're going to go with this UFL, UFL, UFL uh, trailer. And I'll also give you my... I think we're live now. Yeah, that's good. And we'll go over this and um, I'll give you my opinions and my thoughts. And all those... I suppose we gotta we gotta change um interesting, interesting. Um let's move that across. You're a bit late. I'm never late. I arrive precisely when I mean to. But um, anyway, look, we're going to go with this uh, this UFL thing because I think, you know, I'll, I'll give you my own. I think everyone's asking me for my opinion. So I'll, I'll give you my opinion. Again, you know, you have to remember it's a much smaller team working on this game. So a lot of people, a lot of people um, I can understand, maybe they're not in the industry, so don't understand, but, you know, don't expect some next level graphics like FIFA level because that is impossible. FIFA, of course, um, I've been around for many years. Um, they probably got more teams working on on animations than UFO have in their entire workforce. But um, I think it's interesting to go over it because you know I always like. I think the most important thing is competition. Competi competition is the most important thing, and. Um, I mean, I've reached out to these guys already. I've not heard a response back from them. Um, but, you know, if they want to reach out to me, that's fine. That's my fair play. I'm happy to give my opinion. But Now, I I'm going I'm to give you my honest opinions on this because I think there's a lot of uh, things. But now, of course, they got Ronaldo in. I mean, listen, I think that was pretty... Everyone knew Ronaldo. Well, not everyone knew, but I had a funny feeling Ronaldo would be coming as well. Um, because, obviously, you can argue Ronaldo's been almost alienated i suppose you could say not alienated but you know obviously he's no longer on the front cover anymore of course because allegations against him etc etc so it's interesting how they um they picked up Ronaldo, which i think is a very good decision to be honest i mean i would have done the same thing but you know don't, don't worry about fifa don't worry about um the graphics too much comparing it to fifa um if, if for the for those that compare um graphics in a game don't understand i mean if it was up to me i'd have perfect gameplay and maybe half graphics to be honest a lot of people don't realize that though but um obviously like for those you don't want to know i'm i don't work for ufl um i don't know what's going on i know they got that, so i'm going to skip the beginning part the only thing that really was notable mentioned to me was when they showed some of the systems so we're going to go through that and um, we'll go through incrementally let me know what you guys think as well so obviously they have the they said the cut scenes are going to make it a bit more realistic um, in line with uh, real life, like, as you can see on the TV, um, which, to be honest, I, I haven't really got that much of. I mean, I care about it, of course, but it's not obviously for me. Gameplay is the most important thing. You can make the most beautiful game in the world, um, but if the gameplay is not that good, it's a complete different thing. And they said apparently it's free to play. So apparently they're not. It's a season based system. So it's not like FIFA where it comes out once a year. Um, it'll, it'll come out, I think. I think, on a, if I'm not mistaken, it will be coming out once every... Well it's, it's, well, it's one game, but it's season incremental releases. So I don't know how that will play. I mean, realistically, from a business perspective, I can imagine them releasing this before September. I mean, I hope it doesn't get delayed till Christmas anyway. But I can imagine it will be before, before FIFA gets released. I mean, that would be the logical thing. Let's just hope it does get released before FIFA. Um, because it's good. the good thing about this is even though... Even though if directly it would not in the beginning initially compete, it gives people something to worry about. So it kind of ups their game as well. Does that make sense? So it changes um, that sphere. But there's a couple of things that actually look good. So of course they've got the ambassadors, they've got the licensing. Um, but uh, so you've got, they've got a couple of teams. I saw that uh, Sporting, Rangers, Monaco, with West Ham. 
the Besiktas, a lot of a lot of teams, and I think they collaborated with hashtag United. Um, but what I really want to look at is um, so they have all the play like KDB, Zinchenko, that's the ambassadors. They got Ronaldo, of course. Um, so this is the thing. Um, on a very realistic level, for someone to compare the graphics to FIFA is just is nonsense. I don't, I don't think. I mean, I, most of these guys, as as usual, my go to saying is. It's just kids who, I mean, if, if you're thinking a team that can make some amazing graphical game with 100 people inside, of course, they're not going to do that. Not yet anyway, maybe in the future, but the graphics don't even look too bad. I mean, I, I'll be honest, I don't care about the graphics, to be honest. I, I really don't care about the graphics. It's almost, almost like a FIFA-like vibe. But to be honest, um, of course, this is just um, a work in progress. You know, we don't really know. It doesn't look too bad, to be honest. I mean... I don't understand people are getting upset. It actually doesn't even look too bad. Interesting animation choice there. That's a nice touch, you know. No teammate contain. But yeah, the graphics are not that bad, to be honest. Um, the game? No, you don't know what the game looks like. That's a problem. But yeah, it, 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 don't forget there's goals. Yeah, but goals is quite far away. Um, goals are quite far away, to be honest. It's... I don't know. They just started recently. UFL been in progress for what? How many years? I think it says it's 2016, right? So they've got quite a long way to go. So I don't expect a goals game by what? The next two, three years, to be honest. Um, but yes, the graphics are not that bad. Let me ask you an honest and serious question, Chad. Do you really care about... I know, for example, most of my audience are older, but do, do you guys really care about the graphics? I think it's fantastic from what we have. I mean, if you're if you're expecting for them to be amazing textures on the pitch, um, this is the problem. This is another issue why we're stuck because a lot of people are, are too obsessed with the graphical element. But the fact that it's free to play, I think you know you know what I think. Obviously, the response from FIFA, I could probably make a prediction that if they release this before September, um, I think that FIFA will make FIFA free. Or if it's called EA Sports FC 23, they'll make it free. I think if they if they make FIFA free, then UFL are gonna have. Remember, they only, they only take a small market share. Looks decent. I want realistic looking players. I couldn't care less about the realistic looking player. It just has to look half. This is fine. I mean, to be honest, I can understand from a young the younger perspective. You want to see amazing graphics. I mean, but if you think UFL are going to do that in a couple of years, you're in trouble. But um, it'll take them a lot of years to do that. But look, this is very good graphics, I think, for what it is. For the initial game to months, I thought it was much worse. I'm actually quite happy with this. I genuinely thought it was much worse. But, you know, these, for example, this is actually pretty decent graphics. I mean, I don't know if you're expecting something very realistic. I mean, FIFA have done a very, very good job. But I don't think they could obviously compete with FIFA. Not yet anyway, maybe in the future, but not yet. A good company can do good graphics and good gameplay. It's impossible. Do you know how, do you know how much money it costs to make a AAA title? Uh, you have to remember, chat, this is not like something you do in your back garden. You know, this is not something you do in your garage. It's not like some small thing that you do. It's very complicated. You need millions and millions of pounds. Of course, you should always focus on gameplay. It's interesting though, I like the menu. So we've got a sneak peek of the menu. So you've got play match, club management, um, transfer market. So I mean, I presume it's the menus for the... They said they've got a, a game mode where they've got like a premiership. So they, they apparently want to host pro events. So they got like a, this complete thing. I think, you know what? They've done a very, very good thing. They've got Ronaldo. They put that guy on the front cover. That guy's going to sell the game. I mean, you can maybe even argue that FIFA, to some respect, shot themselves in the foot. You know, obviously not it's a, not alienating, but let's just say excluding Ronaldo. Gamecom has been bought for billions, of course. To make it, what I would say is always make, I would say make a good gameplay first and then build the graphics after. But you can see the menus are pretty good. Um, this is going to be the ultimate team equivalent you can see total team cost from my understanding it's free to play but i wouldn't be surprised if there was in-game purchases like you can buy um 
realistically look at the end of the day this is a business at the end of the day you know how they're going to make money i mean i don't really know i can only imagine realistically they're probably going to have some in-game currency or some sort of seasonal pass i think if they adopt a fortnite system where they go for a season pass i think it's a really good idea but you can see you know, they got some of the teams they got the west ham they got declan rice ogbonna they got of course ben yedda um, but you can see um, Lukaku and Firmino, those are players that, of course, have licensed. As you can see, they've got a blue background. So it appears that they haven't got the license for, of course, the team. But I don't mind about that too much. I honest, If you're looking towards the ultimate team, you're going to have like custom kits anyway. So you're just playing for the, the player's name. Does that make sense? I think that's not too much of an issue. Yeah, nothing in life is free, of course. Um... But look at Fortnite, for example. You could argue Fortnite was the first AAA game that rocked the market. That was free. Um, look, to be honest, look, if I was EA, like, let's say I worked in EA right now, I was the CEO, all I would do basically, like from a business perspective, I would just release a season pass. I would just say, okay, guys, we're going to have a see Every month's going to be a season. You pay £10, you get the season pass, you get a couple of free packs, a couple, some, some players, some kits, a few other stuff on tradable. That's what EA will do. I promise you something like that will come out next year. I don't work for EA, by the way. I've got no affiliation with EA, UFL, goals. I don't work for them. I don't do anything for them at all. Um, contrary to belief. Some people think I am just because maybe I've got honest opinions. But uh, realistically, that's the thing. It looks like there's no chemistry as well. So it looks like it doesn't matter what, what players you have. You can play Golovin. You can play Firmino. You can play Kevin De Bruyne. It doesn't look like there's any chemistry dependencies either. Again, the gameplay is the most important thing. Where's my bottle of water that I had? Um, but yeah, they're playing triple A games. Yeah, they are. They are put triple triple A games. I think Fortnite was the first. I'm not gonna say was the first, but Fortnite really did lead the light in you know, for example, going for the free base game, let everyone play. I mean, there's no way UFL can charge for their game. It's impossible. No one's gonna buy a game that costs money from UFL. It's hard. It's hard to convince someone to play a game and pay fifty pounds. It's a lot of money, you know. It's not. It's not. It's not a walk in the park. I mean, I think about when you were a kid. When I was a kid, I had like, even to get FIFA every year was was something. But like, uh, no, but for, but Fortnite made the choice to go free then. I mean, it was a good choice. I mean, it was problem is everyone everyone probably thought of the idea, but to actually do it is something else. You have to remember as well for a company to spend millions and then release the game for free in an attempt to make some money back is a very risky strategy. A lot of stakeholders won't agree with that with that method. But yeah, so. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't mind. They've got game management. They've got, they got the transfer market. It looks like it's got the FIFA element of where you can buy players, sell players, or customization, management game plans. Very similar, identical to FIFA. Very, very similar to Ultimate Team, as you can see. they got the chemistry at the top left. Um, I can only presume there wouldn't be issues with, well, maybe you have to have some... Well, these guys don't link. So, I mean, maybe the way they've done it is, is that, obviously, this is a mock-up image, right? But let's say in this situation... Maybe the chemistry will be 100 because of the players are in a correct position or in a... Let's say you play like a right back and right mid. Maybe they go like that. But it'd be interesting to see how the chemistry thing works. Maybe you have to buy a manager or something like that. But yeah, that's that's interesting. And then, of course, you've got the formations. Very, very similar to FIFA as well. 3 5 2 5 3 2 4 4 2 4 3 3 it's got objectives and roles at the top. So they, you can see, for example, each formation has got their ability. That's pretty interesting, you know. Well, did a chemistry change when they swapped players? Hang on, let's see. He moved that player and he put Zinchenko on. Chemistry didn't change. So, oh, you can see their, their stats as well on the right-hand side. Just below me, you can see Zinchenko. He's got some certain skills. He's got pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, defense, fitness. Okay, interesting. It's, it's, it's very, very similar to Ultimate. It's basically like a free Ultimate team. What I think, I think is a very, very good form. I'm actually genuinely surprised. I, I'll be honest. I did think it wouldn't be as good as this, in all honesty. I think, you know, 
if you put everything else aside, you know, it's, I think for what it is, it's quite, it's very, very good, very much in its infancy. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have expected anything better, to be honest, to be completely honest. One second. My only worry is the gameplay looks slightly heavy, but how how would you define the gameplay looks slightly heavy? What's the main point of this game? Authenticity. I think it's um, you know what? Plays that they can look in slow motion. No, nah, no, nah, you you can't tell. You can't tell by looking at gameplay if the game is good or not. You honestly, you can't. Like, and I, I was I was I was look I was watching when I was watching it live. I was looking at some reactions of some streamers. Yeah, they don't know what they're talking about. You can't tell if the gameplay is sluggish if just by um looking at a gameplay footage. The animations look real. Yeah, the animations look real, but it's all about the input, right? So does FIFA. If 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 I if I gave you FIFA, I never told you the name of the game, you would think FIFA looks fantastic. <clears throat> You'd even argue that FIFA is the most fluid gameplay ever. It looks fantastic, but then we move when you move your left analog stick down and the player moves a 0 0.5 to one second later, it changes the complete opinion on the game. But I think it's very, very good. They already said the game came out. Nah, no way. They wouldn't release the trailer if the game came out today. The game, the game, from my understanding, will get released. Okay, what I think is just before September. I'm thinking about June, July time. But it has to be like, I think they know it has to be before FIFA. I mean, it will be a very, very bad choice, in my opinion, to release after FIFA. The margin would be just on the fall off of June team of the year. FIFA are going to have to do some madness to keep people in the game. I think from a business sense, if FIFA can do some madness, like maybe release some icon SPCs earlier, keep people in the game, it could change. It depends how FIFA react as well. Of course, of course, of course FIFA will look better than this. It's like you're comparing like... Um, you're comparing a startup company to like a fully fledged company, of course. I can't believe people are, are people going to think this. These graphics are formidable for what it is. You just remember, guys, there's a hundred people working on the game, a hundred people, and not all those are gameplay guys. Some of those guys are admins, receptionists, CEOs. Only a fraction of the hundred people is graphics. That is, these are very, very good graphics. For what it is. If people think these graphics are bad, then they're never going to be happy. Yes, of course, FIFA looks better, but... FIFA will be free next year. I mean, like, if I was the CEO of... Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do if I, was, if I was the CEO of FIFA, the way that I will do it. If I was the CEO of FIFA, I would make an, a presumption that UFL will be released just before the September release, probably around June, July time, right? To capitalize on the market and obviously the world the world cup and all that as well obviously i don't know when but let's say in between that right then what i will do is as as um, as as the ceo of fifa i would release a season pass for free in may and i would and then eafc ea sports fc will have to change once they change the name then I would, um, once they change the name, I will then release FIFA for free. That's what I will do. That's what I'll do if I was EA CEO. And then that's it. But that's the way you keep the retention. Um, but look, look at this. I think this is very, very good for what it is. You know, this is only, yes, four years in production. It seems like a long, maybe long actually. This is six years in production. 
Who cares about these graphics? Whoever cares about these graphics don't really understand. This is why we have issues with FIFA because everyone is so obsessed with menu content and what the graphics look like. They don't even worry about anything else. I think it's just young kids just crying about the graphics, to be honest. I don't think Fortnite is polished. eFootball went down a different path. They didn't say it's cross-platform, did they? So it's interesting. It's a completely different engine. It's an Unreal Engine. Yeah. Considering this too... Don't forget, apparently they said 100 people working on their team. They said 200 people from this year or something, right? Now, you have to remember, it could be freelancers. Let's say out of the graphics department, like 50, like let's, say, let's say like 30% is the graphics department. That is very, very good. Like, contrary to what people think, this is very, very good. I was, I was genuinely surprised when I saw this. I was thinking of something much worse. Of course, this is the best aspects, of course, of it, but... Cups in December, yeah. But I mean, like, they could release like a World Cup mode, uh, pre mode. So, if, when the World Cup does come along, um, they can release like a maybe like Road to World Cup mode or something just before FIFA even gets released, something like that. I don't know. Interesting, it'd be interesting to see how they do it. Yeah, give it, a, give it two years. I mean, let's be realistic. Do you, if you ever think they're going to catch up to FIFA in terms of graphics, you might as well just. Don't even watch this stream because you don't understand how hard it is to do that. You have to give everything a chance, right? It is a new game, Mark, yes. Smooth gameplay is most yeah, graphics are very good. Gameplay is most important. As I said, chat, I'm not working with these guys just in case. I know everyone always has this opinion that maybe I work for this and that, but I don't work for anything. Yeah, that is true, Keys. Some of the best games, you replay them because of the gameplay, not because of the graphics. How will they make their money? I'm thinking a season pass. I think a season pass might be like the best way they're going to make their money. I mean, that's what I would do if I was them. How else are you going to make money if the game's free? It won't be paid to win, but they'll do it. Listen, a season pass, look, I promise you right now, Someone can even clip this. Trust me. Like there, there will be a season pass system for both UFL and maybe FIFA. Something similar, like a battle, like a battle pass type system. And there's no way it's going to be kept. But you see, for example, like here, these graphics here are very, very good. Oh, not, these ones are still very, very good. Like that, I, I, I think that's very, very good. I, I can't imagine why people think that's bad. I mean, I know the grass looks artificial, but what do you expect for a new, a new game? Interesting, it's very FIFA-like though. It's very interesting. It looks like it's taking a lot from FIFA. World Cup's in December. Yeah, I know it's in December, but I mean like, um, like a road to World Cup or something. You know what I mean? Because obviously they said it's going to be released in 2022 before the World Cup. So I'm thinking about maybe June, July, August, maybe. I can imagine June-ish, maybe. Even earlier, the earlier the better. Probably sell kits and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't care. If they sell kits, fair play to them. If someone wants to spend £20 on the kit, I don't care. I, I, I couldn't care less. Yeah, it would give some competition. Look at the defender, Antonio's goal. Which which Antonio's goal? Yeah, so they're going to have this season type system. So apparently, I mean, it looks very, very good. The crowd as well. In six years, I think they did a, I think they did a very, very good job. A good job. So they're going to have apparently this um, this leaderboard. Oh, you got Matt HD game at number one. Drag back FC. Rage Quit United, Gamepad Breakers. But yeah, um, they're going to have a season-type system instead of going to have a Premier Division. So apparently, um, 
they're going to have leagues and then they're going to have different seasons. And I think every single year, if I'm not mistaken, they're going to have some sort of like, um, uh, every a new season, should I say? I think these are tremendous, to be honest. It doesn't really look like the best of animations there. I'll be honest. I won't lie. It doesn't. It doesn't look the best over there. Almost like he's like he's going to hug someone at the same time, and just randomly thumping the ball. But I couldn't care less about the animation and what it looks like. I care more about how the ball moves. That looks good. That looks good. Hope there's no first time. What's going on? You watch an apprentice. What time does apprentice start? I forgot. Nine PM. It starts in five minutes. Thanks for reminding me. Just like Rocket League. Yeah, true say. Make money through NFTs, probably, but like, I don't know. Like, I'm not like when it comes to NFTs. I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm a skeptic, but I'm just gonna say it's more perceived market value than actual market value. You know what I mean? So I don't know the longevity of it. That's the problem. I think realistically, buying and selling stuff would be probably the ideal thing. Like, remember like PES 5 at the beginning, at Tonya's goal, at the beginning. Where, where, where are we talking about Antonia's goal? But yeah, getting Ronaldo. I mean, that is definitely the, the smart thing to do. Beginning of game. Okay, let's have a look. Here you're saying, right? Who was that? Was it that goal? Who scored that? That's De Bruyne. I don't know where Antonio goals goal is. I have no idea. Latin market would go for it. Yeah. All the markets that, f you know, all the, with respect, all the third world countries will love this game. Because obviously in a third world country, you know, 50 pounds a lot. That's like a month's salary for some people. But yeah, I so said, we don't know. Um, I said, I'm not, I, I don't really know too much. I'm just in the blind, just, just in the blind for them. But yeah, realistically, look, in terms of graphical weight, you you can't you can't compare you know. You can't compare a game like FIFA um, to this. Not yet. It's an in-game camera. I don't know where you saw this though. That's the problem. I don't know where you saw it. That's the problem. So this one here, Antonio is gone. Yeah, what about this? Maybe that's good. No AI defending. You get punished. 
But this is yeah, but this is just like this is just like a, a sample. Like you can't judge the game by this. Like this clip. I check you remember you can't, you know if it doesn't matter, you can't judge it by just by seeing this guys. You can't. It's something you can't do. Give it a chance, chat. That's all I'm gonna say. And just be careful. and I, as, as I say as usual, just you know, be careful who you listen to because you know you have to remember um people are just going to be hating on the graphics or whatever but the truth is that this game has just been in production for a short period of time so you can't you don't expect some miracle if, if you think if you think they can make what fifa makes no way But I'll be honest, so far, I, I, I actually think it looks good. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, that's me done. Um, I just thought, you know, I'd just give my, my opinions, my impressions. People were asking me in DMs anyway, so I thought, you know what? Let me just make, let me just make this, I thought. Make the thumbnail as well while I'm at it. Um, da, 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 da. I'm just gonna make this thumbnail while I'm at it. Um, what do we need to do? Any other final questions, chat? Moment of release, we don't know yet. You're on to Moz, yeah. I'm probably gonna do the, the pack opening tomorrow. The target audience would be the older community. Well, I don't know. I I think a lot of you guys will enjoy it. You know, I think a lot of you guys that um that are you have to remember. I think it's just the young kids who are really obsessed with graphics. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think adults really care too much about the graphics. No, you know, no, no no one's gonna be like, oh no, look, the graphics are so bad. No one's gonna be like that. Do you know what I mean? Like realistically, no one's gonna be like that. So it's the graphics are one thing, yes, but no one's gonna, no one's expecting some miracle. That's that's the thing. I think a lot of people are expecting like yeah to be a next level graphics. It's not gonna work like that. We well, didn't the game, but you can't see anything. You cannot see anything. Not yet. You can't say anything. We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait. I'm just making a thumbnail now while I'm letting this play on. Okay, chat, any other questions? Yeah, have, have a look at Fortnite, for example, guys, yeah? Look at Fortnite. In Fortnite, are you... Are you actually... Do you actually care about the graphics? Do any, do any of you guys care about the graphics in Fortnite? I know I didn't. Their site's active now as well. All right, boys, that's me done anyway. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. I'll be on probably another time, maybe later on. I'm not sure when, but uh, ideally probably tomorrow um but thanks for watching he thinks that that's not fortnite nah we're just talking about how the the, the fortnite the way going forward but chat no honestly i really i really i really really like all your um your thoughts and opinions it's so interesting to hear you know what everyone's got to say um 
<coughs> but I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening. I'll upload this and you can watch it. I might make I'll make a video tomorrow at 6 p.m. and I'll be streaming then.